After categories have been created, the songs have been moved into the categories and shuffled, and uh, you've given colors to your categories, you're ready to create the first format clock. Click on Formats. Open the File menu and select New, and give your new clock a name. Over on the right side of the screen, you'll see a little yellow flag button. Click on that. It's used to add clock items. I'll start with a non-music unit, Station ID. This is the only non-music category that I've created so far. In the future, I'll have categories for voice tracks, station promos, maybe some jingles, and some artist drops. Click the Music button and begin adding song categories. Double-click on a category name and it's added to the clock. Every time you double-click, the category is added to the clock. Also, when you select a category name, you can click the OK button, and that will add the category to the clock as well. These category slices are proportionately the size of the average length of the songs within the category. Notice the 70s category slices are a bit larger than the 60s hit category. That's because most songs were shorter in the 60s than they were in the 70s and in the 80s. When a clock is used to schedule, the slice size will always adjust to the size of the song that actually gets dropped into that slot. So when Music One schedules, say, Stairway to Heaven, which is a seven-minute song, the slice is going to expand to match the length. On the other hand, if a short song gets dropped into the slot, that slice will get smaller. At the bottom of the screen, you see the average content time that this clock will have. That will be the average. It will never be the actual time, because every hour where this clock is used will have different songs scheduled into all of the slots. So some hours are going to be a little longer than this, some hours are going to be a little shorter than this number. You can overschedule the clock, too, and many stations do overschedule some hours. Once you pass 60 minutes in average content, Music One begins building the overschedule slots on the left side of the screen. These clocks are not carved in stone. You can always alter them. You can add things, remove things, change one slot from one type of category to some other type of category, and you can clone clocks as well.